Here's what a typical injector or primary ignition waveform might look like. We're starting off at 12 volt battery voltage, pull down to zero for the duration or the dwell, big induction spike as the coil collapses, a return back to the base 12 volt voltage until the next event. and back down to battery voltage. One of the things that you might notice is that there's some noise here and here overwriting our waveform. You might even see it here and here. Today we're going to put the HS402 to work. It has very low noise characteristics. We've proven that in the build video and we're going to explore what's going on here. We're taking our battery voltage off of pin 16 on the DLC coming into channel 1 of our HS402. Ignition is off. We're working off a plus or minus 15 volt range here. So peak to peak that's 30 volts. We're getting peak to peak noise of 90 millivolts on that band. And that produces a very solid 12.42 volt line without too much wiggly stuff even if we um, zoom in on it. So let's see just how some noise can be introduced on that battery voltage. And one of the things that we do sometimes when we're diagnosing is that we put a battery charger on our battery as we're trying to go through the process. So let's hook one up and see what happens noise-wise to this baseline. So our ignition is still off, but just by having a battery charger on, our peak-to-peak -peak noise levels has doubled to 30, 32 millivolts. Expect this added noise to be reflected in our waveforms if we conduct them while a battery charger is on. Let's uh, take it off and uh, go back to our baseline. Ignition off, battery charger removed, we're back to our baseline, maybe 17 or 18 millivolts, peak to peak. Let's turn the ignition on. So after everything has settled down, the fuel pump has reached its pressure and shut off. We're at 26 millivolt, 28 millivolt, peak to peak noise. That's just by virtue of having the ignition switch on having woken up some of the modules, maybe some relays are being powered, and we have this additional noise that is going to be overriding any waveform that we take, engine not even running. So let's start the engine. We're getting four times the noise, a little over that, you know, we're pushing 80 millivolt peak to peak and we're going to have that noise present. That's just generated. It's not coming from our oscilloscope. You'll remember the oscilloscope was really quiet. This is four times that level. So that's coming from all of the um, alternator, uh, modules, uh, relays, and we're going to have this overriding 80 millivolts peak to peak riding over top of any waveform that we take. That's what we have to deal with in automotive type work. So 
short video guys and uh, something of interest I hope and we managed to put this very quiet little HS402 to work. Talk to you guys soon.